सो वेलकम्स टू यू ऑल माई सेल्फ चंद्र प्रकाश एंड आई एम हेयर टू स्पेशली टेल यू अबाउट द स्टडी विच हैज़ बीन डन बाई द डेकिन यूनिवर्सिटी द डेकिन यूनिवर्सिटी हैव डन द स्टडी एंड इट हैज़ पब्लिश इन द डायबिटीज ओबिसिटी एंड मेटाबोलिज्म जनरल एंड द स्टडी सोज स्पेशली द को रिलेशन बिटवीन द विटामिन सी एंड द टाइप टू डायबिटिक पेशेंट सो द पेशेंट्स हु आर इन अ डायबिटिक स्टेज who are having a higher level of sugar uh, in different parameters if you see either in a fasting serum glucose postprandial as well as hbo1c level also so especially to those patients they have done a study on correlation between the vitamin c and type 2 diabetic condition in patients so what they have analyzed it i am just going to uh, give you the brief information about the study so uh, they have the study has been found that the people those who are in having a diabetes type 2 diabetic condition and those patient who are taking uh, the vitamin c as a supplement of 500 mg uh, two times a day uh, two times in a in a day so in those patient there has been seen that there is a slightly uh, significant amount of decrease in the postprandial sugar level of the patients so this leads to the condition that uh, when we are taking just not only the amount of curity we get from the lifestyle management and the medication but we need some amount of supplements also because that supplements especially help us to not prolong that diabetic condition or to not enhance that diabetic condition uh, in a in a bad way so they they will help you in a certain supportive uh, care you can take it as well so what happen is it's a it's a double blind placebo control uh, crossover studies been done in which they they have investigated whether the vitamin c uh, could decrease the daily postprandial blood sugar level in people or not so what they have done is that they have uh, they have addressed they have uh, taken 31 people and in those 31 people 26 are men and the 5s are women so uh, these all 31 uh, people are type 2 diabetic patients uh, especially they are randomly splitting uh, the two groups uh, and in th- in these two groups they have uh, given the tablets uh, once morning and once in the uh, evening time Uh, of 500 mg vitamin c tablet so in one group they have given the vitamin c tablet uh, vitamin c capsule and in other group they have also given the vitamin c capsule but uh, um, they have also given the capsule but that capsule is not having the vitamin c content but they look very similarly so no patients um, can think about that uh, this is uh, this is the person who is especially in different way and in the, in this in a different way so it's a double blind so the patient any patient should not know that which capsule have vitamin c or not so they have a group uh, grouped in two uh, two groups especially and uh, they have given that capsule for 500 mg in capsule you know twice a daily in that case uh, to those patient who are taking the vitamin c uh, they have taken it for four month and then after there is a one month of washing washing out period in which that all the vitamin c which has been uh, getting out uh, uh, getting in through the supplement should be released out and then after they have uh, studied for more four month so four month within the uh, within the patients who are taking the vitamin c and four month after the patient is not taking the vitamin c so they have seen that there is a especially a slightly important differences is seen in the postprandial sugar levels not in the hbo1c as if you see in the study also that hbo1c control is not been seen in the patients but the major conclusion is about why this vitamin c helps in controlling the sugar level so the reason is it's not just they are helping in controlling the sugar level 
but i think it will more specific to it will help in to preserve those beta cells also in the body because how you see that that vitamin c is an antioxidant and the antioxidant helps in reducing the free radicals which damages the our cells and pancreatic beta cell is also a type of cell so if they damage the pancreatic beta cell or if they damage the different cells efficiency then it leads to more complicated uh, uh, glycemic index in the body so they especially reduced the free radicals and due to the reduction in the free radical they have seen that there is a significantly uh, change in the postprandial sugar level have been seen in the patient i hope so uh, you find this information very good and uh, if you do uh, find it so please do like and share with your friends also thank you so much